Welcome to my 14 month follow up review of the Vesta GP TTS Supersport. Um, scooter still running beautifully. I've not done very many miles. Does a six, my, six miles total commute every day. Um, so it's done 2,000 miles. Um, it's using all weathers um, except, except ice, really, except minus, minus temperatures. Um, still looks lovely, it's a lovely engine, really, really fun to ride, um, superb suspension, superb handling, a good brake, it's got ABS of course, traction control, um, there are some issues with the quality, with the finish really, which I would imagine is nearly all down to, um, nearly all down to paint finishing, for example, um, the exhaust had to replace after a few weeks, due to the finish um, being poor and flaking off um, and the, the replacement lasted a few months um, but it's still as you can see the paint has got significantly flaked off there and all the way along um, which to be honest as I said I've had Hondas um, Yamahas and various two Chinese brands that scooters in uh, and this is by far the worst, finish wise. There's also some rust under here. And if I lift the seat. And pull out the bucket. There's some, you can see some bubbling and somewhere it's already come through. You can also see the exhaust through here as well, a little bit. See the flaking on the exhaust through there. Um, to be honest, it's a real disappointment. Um, but according to the users' forums and various Facebook groups, this is this is common. Um, a lot of the guys will go to great lengths to treat their scooters. I dread to think what it's like ins inside um, inside the uh, scooter. Inside the seams, the bits that you can't see. Um, frankly, I think I'm likely to sell or trade it in before. It within the next 12 months anyway. Although I do love riding it and I would probably buy another one. Um, I don't, their longevity uh, doesn't inspire me. <laughs> but as I said, however, the flip side is, it is a very, very nice scooter to ride. Uh, it's reliable um, and fun to ride, quick off the mark. However, if I was going to rely on this for work and had no alternative, I have the cars, etc. But and had no alternative, I would be inclined to go for Yamaha X Max or a Honda Forza X. Uh, both have really good engines, but um, none of the steel, none of the metal bodywork, which is just not suitable for our climate. Okay, hope this was informative, and catch you next time.